Hi! Hello there! Welcome to Stafford Charity News. This is Rowan. You know what? Giving to the charities that reflects the causes you care about can benefit both charities and you personally. Millions of people donate to charities on a regular basis to support the issues that are important to them and also to benefit their own lives. Giving to charity is a powerful mood enhancer. Being able to help others is really empowering and can lead to feelings of happiness and fulfillment. Making a char charitable donation is associated with greater activity in a pleasure registering part of the brain, according to research. This finding supports the adage that it's always better to give than to receive. The most common justification for charitable giving was a sense of social responsibility. 96% of people who answered the survey said that they had felt a moral obligation to use what they had to help others. This belief was deeply rooted in their own beliefs and ideals, no matter what kind of charity work they supported. Many people consider it both a privilege and an obligation to have the ability to make a difference in the lives of others. By acting on these strong feelings of responsibility, we can strengthen our own personal values and we feel as thought we are living in a way that is loyal to our own ethical ideas. So before I proceed, let me introduce to you the mind behind all these works. Stefan Jonathan aka Wiseman is a man of multiple grace whose influence is spread across the religious and secular arena. He is a spiritual coach, best-selling author, and a conference host, and a businessman, entrepreneur, investor, international motivational speaker, and wealth creation agent. He is the host of numerous conferences and seminars, including the popular How-To Seminars, How to Be a Millionaire, How to Be an Exceptional Leader, How to Be a Success in Life, How to Build a Successful Business, is also the host of the weekly business and leadership school, Success Mastery Academy. His daily and weekly major broadcasts are a delight to many. He has received numerous awards for his impact both in religious and secular arenas. So without further ado, let's watch this beautiful video. Hi, hello guys, how are you today? So I'm here, here in uh, the bus station in the terminal in Cebu City. So I'm now here in a series bus. So in about a few minutes, so we're going to Talaget, Cebu City. Because uh, we're going to give some food to children and also give rice to some uh, selected people in Talaget. Today, uh, we are now here in Talagat and we're going to bless someone. And I'm going to give uh, rice and also we give some candies and chocolates and some snacks to children. It's about a hundred children and it's gonna be a wonderful day for each and every one. Have you ever thought about how much you have and how lucky you are? I know I have and then I feel guilty for thinking that way because there are so many people who have so little and I feel like it's not fair for me to complain about anything when there are many people in the world who don't have much enough food or clothing. But then again, maybe it's good to think about what we do have. After all, we're happy because of what we have. So maybe it's because it's good to remember that happiness can come 
from giving back. So what you can do? Well, for starters, think about who needs help in your community. Is there a shelter nearby? What about an animal shelter? How about a community center that helps refugees and immigrants integrate their new home? Or maybe there are children who could benefit from mentoring programs or after-school activities. The possibilities are endless. It doesn't take much time or effort. All you need to do is to have a willingness to help others out and make the world a better place. So my dear friends, it's always better to give than to receive. And by helping others in need, we are not only making their lives better, but also making the world a better place. So helping others not only makes them feel good, but also it makes us feel good. And it's one of the most rewarding experiences we can have. Thank you and Merry Christmas to each and every one. Hello Sir Weisman, good day. Thank you for this Christmas rice giveaways. Happy, uh, Merry Christmas and advance Happy New Year. Thank you. Okay, sir, can I thank you for your pagbugas na nako na imong gihatag na ako. Unlimited gift mo pagtabang din ako, sir. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Sir Weisman. Advance Happy New Year. Thank you, Sir Weisman. Lama. Guys, Sir Weisman, thank you so much for the rice. Um, Merry Christmas and welcome to New Year. Thank you. Hello, Sir Weisman, good afternoon. Thank you for this blessing that I received for this Christmas. I am very appreciative of this kind of gift. And Mr. Sir Weisman, thank you so much again for this gift that I received the five kilos of rice. God bless you both. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Weissman, for this rice and God bless. Merry Christmas. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you for this blessing. Merry Christmas and advance of the year, sir.
is Merry Christmas to each and every one. So we are now here in Lutanao, Calaquet, and we are still gathering some children. And we are going to give some snacks, we are going to give some chocolates, some paintings for them to be happy. Yes, Christmas is about giving, it's about showing love, respect, dedication to each and every one. As you can see, you can see some kids, they're still waiting because they're so excited with chocolates and snacks. And at the same time, we are giving some juice. And it's gonna be a wonderful day today. You know what, when you help others, it's a way of saying, I care about you. You're showing them that they are important to you and that their needs matter. There are so many ways to be kind, whether it's donating your time or money, or even just being patient with someone who isn't feeling well. When we all work together to help those who need it most, our world become a better place for everyone. When you're feeling down and out, it's easy to forget that there are other people in your community who need help too. We all have a lot of things going on in our lives. And sometimes it's hard to remember that we need to take care of ourselves and each other. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, ask yourself, what can I do today to help others? How can I make someone else day better? You don't have to be rich or famous. You just have to be better for someone else. And if you're feeling like you don't have time for anyone but yourself right now, that's okay. The most important thing is that you are taking care of yourself so that you can continue to help others later on and become a blessing to each other. My dear friends, it is always better to be than to receive. And by helping others in need, we're not only making their lives better, but we are also making the world a better place to live in. Merry Christmas to each and every one. Je ne suis pas là juste pour t'adorer, mais je veux dire au monde entier que tu es Dieu, que toutes les extrémités de la terre le savent, tout le monde dans ma famille l'entend.
C'est mon 
Mais je veux dire au monde entier que tu es 